Guys, what's happening today? I'm talking all things Tom Ford. If you are considering your first Tom Ford fragrance, stay tuned because I'm gonna let you know what you need to consider and where to start. Whether you wanna elevate your fragrance game, whether you wanna move away from designer fragrances, purchase your first luxury fragrance, or even if you just wanna say that you're wearing a Tom Ford fragrance, whatever it is, I'm gonna give you a simplified overview of what's on offer and where to start. So first off, what we've got is Tom Ford fragrances come in two collections. You've got the Signature Collection and the Private Blend Collection. Now the Signature Collection is considered to be a more entry level and fragrances that are potentially a little bit more easy to wear. Compared to the Private Blend Collection, where you will find fragrances that are a little bit more bold and a little bit more complex. Now if we start with the Signature Collection, what you've got is fragrances that come in these different shaped bottles. It is a smaller collection, um, but you still have some really popular fragrances that you may already have heard of, such as Grey Vetiver, Ombre Leather, Beau de Jour. And the reason you will have heard of these is because they are fantastic fragrances that still maintain the high standard and high quality of all Tom Ford fragrances. Now, when we go to the Private Blend Collection, you've got fragrances such as Tuscan Leather, which is probably a little bit more of a challenging leather than what you would find in Ombre Leather in the Signature Collection. You have Oud Wood, you have Tobacco Vanille, which is tobacco and vanilla. So you have fragrances that are gonna be a little bit more complex. You also, within the private blend, have a selection of fresh, bright summer fragrances, which is known as the Neroli Portofino Collection, where you have fragrances that are very citrus-based, such as Mandarino di Amalfi, Sole di Positano, Neroli Portofino, and so on. And they come in these really lovely colored bottles. You also have some fruity fragrances such as Bitter Peach and Lost Cherry. So the Private Blend is gonna give you a wider selection of fragrances and they're gonna be fragrances that are gonna make you stand out a little bit more if that is what you're looking for. Now, the difference in price between these two collections is quite a lot. And you're looking at roughly over 100 US dollars or here in Australia, over 150 Australian dollars difference between the Signature Collection and the Private Blend Collection. Some of the newer Private Blend Collection fragrances that are coming out are actually demanding an even higher price than most within the range. So to me, the Signature Collection is really, really good value for money. You have some really great fragrances such as Grey Vetiver, which is a nice modern vetiver. You have Ombre Leather, which is a slightly easier leather fragrance to wear than Tuscan Leather, which I mentioned in the Private Blend Collection. Ombre Leather is more versatile, easier to wear, a little bit of sweetness in there, really smooth and nice. And you have Beau de Jour, which is a barbershop fragrance, which is fresh and clean. There are more, but overall it's a smaller collection of fragrances but both being really, really high quality. Now I would say the signature collection are for people who maybe just want a Tom Ford fragrance. They don't want to break the bank and they want to start off with something which is more accessible and affordable. You may want to start here. If you are familiar with fragrances or like fragrances that are a little bit more complex and you do want to stand out, then you may want to have a look over here at the Private Blend Collection. Now the way I would go about testing these fragrances, I would narrow it down to the kind of fragrances that you like. So for example, I'd have a look online. If you like citrus fragrances, then you may want to look at the Private Blend and you may want to look at that summer collection that I mentioned. If you like dark, deep, woody, mysterious fragrances, then you may want to have a look at some also within the Private Blend collection. You can still look at Ombre Leather on this side and you still can look at Grey Vetiver for a fresh scent. But as I said, there's going to be more to choose from from the Private Blend collection. What I would do, either collection, narrow it down to what kind of fragrance you like, and then head to a store that sells the Tom Ford fragrances. Now you wanna try these things before you buy them. Not only do you wanna smell them on a strip or from the bottle, whatever, you wanna try it on your skin. What I would suggest doing is testing some fragrances on a test strip, whichever ones take your fancy, apply them to your skin. The ones that you don't like, just put them aside completely. Don't even go back to them, put them aside. The ones that you like, apply them on your skin. Now, first off, I wouldn't apply any more than two fragrances at once to your skin. If you're just starting out and you wanna find that right fragrance, I'd apply one fragrance here and one fragrance here. And then I'd go about my day and see how it wears on you. See what you think of it after it dries down, after an hour, after two hours. 
you'll get a little bit of an idea as to how it may perform, whether you think it's strong, it's not strong enough, and that type of thing. Now, if you went away and you didn't like either of them, it's fine. You can go back another day and you can try it again. You don't want to rush this. It's a big purchase, especially when it's your first luxury fragrance, and especially when you're paying the price of these Tom Ford fragrances. So you want to get it right. And when you do get it right and you make that purchase, it's going to be all the more worthwhile because you're gonna have a fragrance that you really, really love. There's nothing worse than wanting something, going out and purchasing it and not being completely sure. You get it and you just don't enjoy it like you thought you would. So you've gotta make sure that you're taking your time and you get it right. Narrow down what you want, go and try them on the skin and take your time with it. All in all, both collections are fantastic. The signature collection offers great value for money. And if it is your first time for fragrance, then maybe have a look and start here, just purely from a price perspective. If price isn't an issue, then fill your boots and smell whatever you want to smell. But all in all, Tom Ford fragrances are really, really high quality and you're not going to go wrong when you purchase one. I could go into a lot more detail in terms of fragrances that are going to be more suited for summer, for winter, for date nights, for work, but there would be a lot of ground to cover. So all I would say is if you've got any specific questions for me in terms of those kind of details, drop them down below in the comment section and I'll come back to you. And I really appreciate you watching. If you've liked this video, give us a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. You take care. Bye.